And so in 1957, Ahmed Didat, alongside two of his closest friends, founded the Islamic Propagation Center in Durban. The organization's first base was a tiny one-room office in the Madrasa Arcade. The three founders started recruiting staff, one of whom was a secretary by the name of Muhammad Khan. So he said, join them, me. join us, Mr. Renka and Mr. Didat said, they wanted to type this. I'm a type typist. After London, he was swept up in a whirlwind of tours. Would you move crucified. On? Would you move on? Next this time. liberated Palestinian, now a citizen of the United States, uh, well spoken and, and immaculately dressed, and was easily mistaken for a Pakistani. Now, listen to his well articulated English and still more eloquent Arabic at question time and Mr. Didat's reply. I would like to say that I'm grateful for this opportunity and my questions are actually to number one. If the Quran is indeed from God, does it contradict itself in as much as it says, okay. Therefore, Jesus was born, he died, and he rose again. The second question. Mr. Okay. Didat. Thank you. The verse in question is, Assalamu alayya, yawma wulidtu, wa yawma amutu, wa yawma ubasu hayya. Which translated means, so peace is on me, the day that I was born, the day that I die, and the day that I shall be raised to life again. The day that I die, it is not the day that I died. It's not died, it's in the future. Mr. Dida, we have invited you to our Christian nation to debate the topic, is the Bible the word of God? Will you now show the courage to invite Reverend Swagger to debate you once again on the same topic in the city of Mecca? And if not, why? Mecca. You see, if the questioner had asked, are you prepared to debate Brother Swagger in the United States in the different cities, I said, I'm prepared now to offer $10,000 for each meeting in places like the Madison Square Garden, in New York, venues of that kind, $10,000 per meeting, four meetings in the United States, $40,000. But the questioner is asking whether I would be prepared to invite him to Mecca. Now, I don't rule Mecca, number one. Number two, if you want to get into Mecca, you need a visa. There is a condition attached to you visiting Mecca. And that condition is that you declare with your lips, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. <laughs> the meaning is, the meaning is that I believe that there is but one God, not Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, not Jesus, that God. I believe in the one and only God, Allah, which is his name. And that Muhammad is the last and final messenger of God. You feel that condition, you are welcome to come to Mecca. I have here a poison. And you please, can you please testify for the audience that you have the true faith in Jesus? <laughs> I'm telling you what I'm going to do. I'm shaking a little bit, <laughs> excuse me, but listen now, you see, you asked me if I believe in Jesus, and I want to tell you, I believe in Jesus as it is written in the Gospels, I don't believe in Jesus as it is written in the Quran, I'm asking him, I'm asking him, if you want to kill me, I must have five minutes more. <laughs> I am grateful to God Almighty for sparing this old machine to be able to come across the Indian Ocean into a country which my people call Down Under. That's, I know, that's what you said, Down Under. The country Down Under. You know, the globe of the world, you see, this is the country which is Down Under. 
I, I don't know how you people manage to remain here, I don't know. <laughs> In Europe, they used to say, see Venus and die. Meaning, that's the acme, the greatest thing that you can see is Venus. You know, the city on the waters, the waterways, it's Venus. In Italy, I think it is. Venus. Venice. So see Venice and die. Now I can go back